Hi everyone, welcome to your first little video tutorial helping you to get through some of the trickier things this semester. Uh, so what we're going to go through today is how to clean up some scanned in drawings so they look even nicer digitally. So sometimes when we scan in drawings they get some patchy grey bits either from the scanner or from the drawing that was lifted up by the scanner going through. Anything like this we just want to try and clean up and make the image look as nice as possible. So I've um, done a few things in this video to try and make it easy for those people um, who haven't necessarily used Photoshop before, um, including my mouse as I click will reveal this red ring so that you can see where I'm clicking and what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to go through relatively quickly so that the videos don't go for too long. Uh, but feel free to watch them as many times as you need and then of course you can ask for some extra help or some extra videos if need be. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is drag and drop our scanned in plan into Photoshop and then it's ready to go. So as we can see here are the scanned drawings that we've got but they've got some extra graininess and some some stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be there that's coming through the scanner bits like this um, so we'll, we'll do our best to get rid of that uh, but still maintain the integrity of the image so the first thing we want to do is to now get rid of the hue or the coloration that's in this image uh, a lot of the time things drawn in charcoal particularly come out blue when they're scanned so the first thing we want to do is um, turn that in, into a grayscale drawing so if you come over here to the layers area, this is where you'll do most of the work in Photoshop. And obviously we'll spend more time talking about Photoshop when we get to that part of the semester. But for today, we'll just stick to the main tools that you need to be using. So first thing you want to do is come down to this little uh, yin and yang symbol down here. Click on that. Click on hue and saturation. So now we have the hue and saturation layer enabled down here and we want to turn the saturation of the drawings right down to minus 100 just up here. So now that they're turned down you can see that the drawings are now grayscale. The next thing we want to do is to increase the levels in the drawings so that we can make these lines nice and crisp and dark as they would have been before they were scanned in digitally. So go back down to that half yin and yang up to levels and now with this levels tool that we have up here if we grab the middle one we can make things really dark obviously if we go too dark it's going to be too much we can make things really light but if we go too light they're going to do too much so let's get our line weights reasonably dark so we can see how they would have been in the original drawing and now you can see they definitely need some cleaning up it's getting really scratchy now okay so we're pretty happy with that point there. Now what we want to use is this tool called the Curves tool. So again, back down to our yin and yang Curves tool. And this gives us the ability to clean up that extra damage. So you can see as I slowly drag the, the Curves cursor left and right, it's cleaning up all that grey space and leaving only the black and white drawings behind. Now you want to be careful that you don't end up going too far and getting rid of most of your drawings. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of the greyness left and obviously your softer line weights will be taken away if you go too far one way. So do your best to just get rid of the, the stuff that you don't need to see, like so, and the rest of it will clean up using a masking tool. Okay, great. So, now, next thing we want to do is we need to add a layer, which is down here, where I've just clicked here. And we're going to add a layer underneath the background. So I'm just going to move the order of the layers down. First, I'm just going to get rid of this little lock, which is on the background. And then I'm going to move the layer underneath there. So now this layer is sitting underneath your background layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that layer white so that when we start to erase some things off our drawing level, we're not going to see just through the squared background. So I've got this paint bucket tool here, as you see. If you hold your mouse over the top, it will always reveal what it is. 
Now I've got paint bucket on, and I've got the color as white. And I'm just going to click in the center, and now we can see that it's changed this layer here to white. It's no longer got those squares. So if we were to hide our drawing layer, we've just got a plain white background behind there, and that's what we want. Okay, so the last thing we want to do now is to clean up all this extra superfluous stuff in your drawings, a bit of graininess that we don't want to see. So the easiest way to get rid of that is to put a mask in. So next to our little yin and yang, we've got this what looks like a Japanese flag. If you click on that, that's going to add a mask to our drawing layer. So we see this second square has now come in next to our drawing layer. So make sure you clicked on that second square. You come and you grab the paintbrush tool, which is up over here, or press B, and now we've got a paintbrush. So sometimes your paintbrush will be far bigger than it needs to be. The easiest way to change the size of your brush is by pressing the left square bracket will change the size. Otherwise, if you can't find that, if you come up here, you can see the size over here. You can change the size like that. Now you can have a soft brush, which is this infused light here, or you can have a hard brush, which will kick off the whole square there. Let's stick with a hard brush for now. Okay, so now all we want to be doing is with our black color selected, it's going to be erasing that stuff, all this superfluous gray mess is going to be gone. We're going to clean up all of that stuff. And after a while, our drawing is all going to be nice and clean. And obviously, if we want to get more detail or get closer to the drawing, we can just make our brush smaller again and clean up all that extra stuff. Oop, now, here, we can see we've accidentally made a mistake and we've painted over something and we didn't want to paint over. Now, the beauty of using a mask instead of an eraser tool means that you can click your paint color back to white instead of black by just clicking this swap tool. So now it's on white and if we paint back over that area it's going to draw it back in for us. Happy days. So those are the things that you need to do. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to in order to clean up your drawings and make them look beautiful. Uh, and if you have any questions send us an email, chuck it up on Ning or uh, get in contact with Shane and we can uh, make some more videos. Hope this has been very helpful. Good luck with your drawings, and I hope they come out magically. Well done, everyone. Cheers.